All right, this one's called Innate Persian Perversions of the Sanctified, a New Wonder Drug Lotion. <laughs> Prologue. On October 31st, 1919, the latex nuns threw their bastard children out the convent window. In future days, lascivious spectators would spy through the garden fence to view the small skeletons. The fathers were crucified in the clandestine ceremony taken from the addiction. My grandmother would tell me this tale every year on my birthday, without fail, until she died. In the present day, progressing further inside, there is evidence on the tongue of a decidedly iron taste, ferric lust mixed in her saliva. This tale was only told through pantomime, handed down from one generation to the next. Taste and smell the holy ones, contaminated by grace and desire. Loved by strangers, and the lure is always evident. It's much easier to hide under the shadows of the cruel mariachi band as they describe terminal miracles in sepia tone and to face memories. Crucified outside the corner bodega, limping towards heaven as limbs were crushed by pop realities. It was decided at dinner as baleful eyes watched from above to hang them from single strings glistening with unknown fluids. Can't talk to us. My sleep is incomplete, divided and split on two separate planes. We don't speak to her anymore. She hid in the tool shed behind the abattoir listening to rock and roll. A similar action was performed by her ancestors to drown out the screams. After a slow crawl underground, she exited, appeared, and viewed the body in the twisted tree remnants, displayed her bloody knees to the papal visitor who looked away with shame. Their eyes throbbed on the veils of white flesh, a liquid skin in the hands of the accused, grasping a strangled dove. Meanwhile, they spoke of desexualizing desire. She licked the 44 Magnum before executing the offender, she once again emphasized her argument by opening fire. Please take a photo before the scene changes. Entering the door again, touching her hair. Camera in hand, she said. As you know, I'm from Babylon. Pose me, please. Oh, please, arrange us crying. We need a permanent portrait for year one. Don't make me ask again. She waited for the live broadcast so she could repeat the action. One more perverse loop. Once more holding hands in the vigil. Spending a few moments in a dead car teasing. Spending a few moments under a skirt's accommodations. Just wanted to imagine we love each other. Just wanted to erupt in a blood dance of mortification. Just wanted to lie and wait for amplified caresses. Let's play it out accepting this untruth into the American psyche, keeping the stilettos hidden and throbbing. Embarrassed at being uncovered, she fires the gun anyway, and rivulets of red seep between the floorboards, just like you were taught in parochial school. Atrocities were also satirized by the cameraman under the shadow of the lunar moth totems. A good laugh and a dead fuck and the Balladonna backfire. Thank you. How many students are